Hey everybody, Carl here from Apton. In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly unbox and install the pedestal on Samsung's S95C series 77 inch OLED TV. We're gonna go through step by step, so make sure you stay tuned. When you get a TV this size, it's generally going to have some straps on it to kind of keep the box together. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is cut through those straps and you can do that with scissors or a knife, whatever you have handy that's sharp enough to cut through these. And that, now that we've cut all the straps off, we're gonna open the top flap of the box. And once you do that, you're gonna see two additional graphics here. One is showing you take the accessories off of the top. The second one is showing you're gonna lift the box off of the TV itself. So we'll open up this other flap. And from here, we can see what I assume is most of the accessories. You've got your unpacking and installation guide here on the top. So take that off and put it off to the side. And then we've got some bags of accessories. This one has a cable, the remote, power cord, a flap to probably cover some inputs on the back. Then we have a piece for the pedestal and a one connect box. Now that we've gotten all the accessories out of the top, our next step is going to be to lift the entire box off of the TV. This is a really big TV, so you definitely wanna make sure you have a second person with you to do this part. I've got Andrew here who's gonna help me take the box off right now. And then basically the styrofoam has a little cutout in it. So when you put your hand inside of the, the knockout on the side here, you're gonna be able to lift the whole thing up. Just make sure you kind of time it right. And around back, you're gonna have two more pieces to take out. They both are part of the pedestal and they are heavy, so be cautious when you take them out of there. Now we're gonna work on removing the cardboard from around the bottom. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is undo these two flaps. And it's important to start on the back of the TV for this one because of how the cardboard is arranged. So you pop these two tabs up like that and then you're gonna move around to the side. And then you're gonna have these two tabs here and you just kind of pinch those wings together and push that through. Same thing on the bottom one, and then pull that away. And the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna undo the two flaps on the front, just like we did on the back, and then lower the cardboard down. Now, when you took the box off, these two styrofoam pieces from the sides probably went with it. So if that's the case, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the box and grab those and make sure you line them up with that specific side that they were on because there is a little notch right here cut out and that's going to fit into the side and you just slide it onto the base and that's gonna act as a stabilizer. Just make sure you use the correct styrofoam piece on the correct side. You'll see because they won't fit if you do them backwards. Now we've spun the TV around so you're looking at the back of it here and the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is lift up on this piece of styrofoam and move that out of the way. And then you're gonna have a second person holding onto the screen of the TV and then you're just gonna push this other piece through to clear out the middle section here. Once you have that middle piece out of the way, you're basically just going to take some of this packing material and tear it so that it's out of the way. And this is where you're gonna find all your spots, your mounting points for the pedestal or right on the back here. Now we're at the point where we're going to assemble the pedestal itself. So the first thing you're gonna need are these two pieces. They are the heaviest pieces in the box, aside from the TV. You're gonna take the, what will eventually be the part that attaches to the back of the TV, and you're gonna fold this little piece down, and then you're gonna take the other flat piece, and you're gonna see there's some notches here, and you're gonna line up these pegs with those notches, and everything should just lower down and slide into place. Then you're gonna close this flap. There's a little magnet on it, so it, shall, will, it will stick closed. And then you're gonna flip it forward. You can see the rubber feet here. That is going to be eventually the bottom of the pedestal. Now we're going to attach another part of the pedestal assembly to the back of the TV. We're gonna take this piece. It has two little hooks on the back. Those are going to hook into these two spots on the TV. It also comes with two packages of screws. These were taped to the back of this part. We're gonna use one packet of those 
for this particular part of the process. These are M4 by L12 screws in case you need to know that if you lose them for any reason. And then we're gonna take those two hooks and hook them into these two cutouts right here. And that'll hold it in place while we put the screws in. So you just have to line it up. Not always as easy as it should be. And then that'll slide into place and everything should line up here. We're gonna open up one package of those screws and put those in place. Now we're going to take that piece of the pedestal that we assembled before and attach it to the back of the TV. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you haven't already is just move this packing material out of the way. And then you're going to line up this little bracket with this little notch that sticks out here. And it should just hook on there. And if it's on there correctly, the four screw holes will line up. And then we're gonna take that other packet of screws, open that up, and then attach those. I did forget to mention before though, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for attaching any of these screws, just so you're aware. And you may, just as a heads up, need to support the bottom of the pedestal as you're screwing these in, in case the holes don't line up exactly. Sometimes just support the bottom of the pedestal and everything will go in smoothly. At this point, we are ready to attach the one connect box to the back of the pedestal. So these are all of the pieces that you're going to need for this particular process. The power cord, the small one connect cable, this little packet that has these little holder bolts in it, and then you need the little uh, cap that goes over your inputs or your connections on the one connect box. So first thing you're going to do is plug in the power cord. So we're gonna take this end here, and that's just going to plug into the bottom of the one connect box. And then you can actually kind of thread the cord through that little canal there. From here, we're going to take two of the holder bolts, we'll open that up. There are three of them in the packaging. You'll only need two of those for this particular process. The third one would be if you're going to mount the one connect box to the back of the television and not the back of the pedestal. So that's mainly more if you're, if you're wall mounting the TV and you're gonna attach the one connect box to it. So we connect these. Just make sure those are lined up properly so you don't cross thread them. And from there, we're going to take the one connect box. And if you look on the back, you'll see pretty clearly the two spots that are going to attach to those bolts. And that should make for a nice solid hold. If I can find them on here, slide those into place and everything should line up pretty squarely at the top and you should have this gap over here on the side. And then we're going to take the cover and attach that. So now our one connect box is connected to the back of the TV. Ha ha, not so fast, eager McBeaver. Actually, I did that wrong. We're gonna take that flap off and we're gonna attach the small one connect cable first. So you're gonna take the smaller end and that's gonna plug into the box itself. And there's only one way for that to go. So if it doesn't fit the one way, just flip it around and do it the other way. You'll actually see a little release clip. So you know that's gotta be facing out towards you and you're looking at it from the right direction. This one also, the wider part says TV on it. The part that says TV is gonna face out towards you. And that's just going to slide into place and lock in there. And then you have a little attachment point here where you can put another screw that comes in this little package through there and lock that into place. Actually, it's not a screw, it's just a little L-shaped piece here. So that's gonna go in here and lock it in. And then we put the cover back on the side. Now that the one connect box is attached to the pedestal, we're going to move the TV onto the counter here. First thing we're gonna do is one, actually kind of tuck the power cord out of the way so that it doesn't get stuck underneath the pedestal when you're moving it. And then secondly, we're gonna just remove this packing material from the top of the TV. There is a protective film on the screen, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints because that's gonna peel off. And then there are two little hand holds right here. And you're gonna reach down in there with one hand and then the other hand 
You're not gonna hold at the top or pinch. You're just gonna kinda put it on the front and sort of just use that as your guide hand. So don't put any pressure on the screen itself. That's very important because you can damage the screen that way. So now we're gonna lift. And hopefully the styrofoam comes off and then we'll spin it around here. And then we set it down nice and gently and attach the rest of the styrofoam wrapping. <laughs> and now comes the fun part. We're going to take off the protective layer and plug in the power cord. So that's how you properly unbox and assemble and install the pedestal on Samsung's S95C 77 inch OLED TV. Make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna have more videos on this particular TV coming up, including a full overview and some how-to videos. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one.